My name is Sheila Messerschmidt, and I'm the Director for Climb for Health Professionals, and I would like to introduce to you today Dixie Wetzel, the lead instructor for our Lactation Management Program. Can you tell me about your academic background and work experience that's led you to become an international board-certified lactation consultant? Well, I obtained my master's degree in community health education and worked as a community health educator for our county health department. And during that experience, what I noticed is there were lots of breastfeeding families that we were serving at our county health department and our WIC program that um, were having problems sometimes or just needed general support and we weren't able to offer that. There was no lactation consultant available to them. So that led me to seek further training in lactation consulting and get some uh, clinical experience as well. And then I was qualified to take the certification exam and became certified. So I've been working with breastfeeding families um, for about 20 years now and have been able to work in the community, as I said, as well as now I work in a, an acute care setting at a high-risk um, maternal and pediatric center. Thank you. So could you summarize the segments that students will take toward their IBCLE certification? Mm -hmm. so, um, so what we're going to do is just kind of look at the basic requirements that the International Board of Lactation Consultant Examiners requires for certification. So those basic requirements um, start with general education in the health sciences just like many other health professionals. So this will include a number of courses that we'll talk about in a second. The second step in the process are the basic education that you would obtain, those basic education courses in human lactation. And that's part of what PCC offers. PCC is a great resource for education for becoming a lactation consultant because it offers education in both of these areas. Um, finally, you have to obtain clinical practice experience and that's direct hands-on services um, provided to breastfeeding families as well as educating breastfeeding families, providing support for them, whether it's via the phone or email in a variety of ways. And then finally, once you've met all those requirements, you're qualified to take the certification exam and you must pass that and then be recertified on a regular basis. What are the most frequently asked questions that students would have regarding this program? Mm. So. Um, the, there's two questions that I get from students frequently and really the most common question is don't you have to be a nurse in order to become a lactation consultant which is a typical misconception and so it's important to know that no you don't need to be a nurse however as you see from the information about the general education requirements you have to have the same kind of training that many healthcare professionals do so training you know college education in biology anatomy and physiology etc so no you do not have to be a nurse but you do have to have have the same type of training, whether it's college education as well as there are some continuing education courses such as CPR and medical terminology that will then prepare you to do the work that you need to do. So the second question I get is, um, you know, then how do I become a lactation consultant? And so we've talked about those steps in the process. Mm -hmm. College education in the sciences, continuing education that's appropriate for health professionals, um, lactation training, and then um, your experience and certification. Lastly, what words would you offer students to help them make a decision on whether this field is right for them? Mm, right. Well, so um, the thing that's very exciting about providing the lactation training that we provide at PCC is that we are providing the top level training at this point. Our 90 hour lactation management course is certified or approved, I should say, by the accreditation and approval review committee that sets the standards for lactation education. And just this year, a very exciting thing happened. The U.S. Surgeon General in January put out the Surgeon General's call to action to support breastfeeding. And in that call to action, which is quite an extensive report about breastfeeding in our, in our uh, nation as well as in our state, um, she talked about we need to really work to increase our breastfeeding rates. And lactation consultants help with that process and certainly support that process. And so she outlined in the report that in fact across the United States we need four times as many lactation consultants as are currently working. And in Oregon we need at least twice as many. So not only the Surgeon General but also the Joint Commission that accredits hospitals, um, a number of different organizations, the Center for Disease Control, are looking very closely now at what kind of breastfeeding support we should be providing and improving those services. And an important part of that is increasing the number of lactation consultants that are available. Okay, well here are the resources if you all want more information about our program. 
and we're really excited to um, hear from you if you'd like more information. So I encourage you to take a thorough look at the website. It has a lot of information for you. If your questions still aren't answered after you've reviewed that material, please call our office at 971-722-6630, and we look forward to having you in class.